Hello grade tens. Today we will look at three common states of matter, namely a solid, liquid and gas. What is a solid? A solid is a form of matter where the substance has a fixed shape and volume. Let's take a closer look at a block of ice. It has a definite shape, definite volume and is not compressible. Its properties consist of a definite shape, definite volume and is not compressible. To explain these macroscopic properties, we have to take a look at the first evidence that matter consists of tiny particles in motion, put forward by Scottish botanist Robert Brown. While he was doing a study of pollen grains suspended in a liquid under a very strong microscope, he noticed the random jerky to and fro movement of the particles. Robert Brown put forward the theory that matter was made up of particles which would move in the same way as the suspended pollen grains if we were able to actually see them under a super powerful microscope. The random to and fro movement of the particles in matter is therefore known as Brownian motion. We apply this particle nature theory by Robert Brown to look at three states of matter more closely. Inside an ice block, the solid state of water, the particles vibrate around a fixed position. What is a liquid? A liquid is a form of matter where the substance has a fixed volume but takes on the shape of the container in which it is placed. We can pour a liquid. Properties of the liquid state of water. It takes the shape of the container, has a definite volume and is not compressible. Microscopically, according to the particle theory, the particles would be seen to be moving around. The forces of attraction would be weaker between the particles. A gas is a form of matter where the substance has no fixed shape or volume. A gas takes the shape and the volume of the container in which it is placed. A gas does not stay in an open container. It is able to spread out to fill the available volume. It is very compressible. Microscopically, according to the particle theory, the gas particles will move quickly in all directions. The forces of attraction between the particles would be the weakest of the three states of matter. If the container is sealed, the gas fills the whole volume of the container. We're going to do an experiment with two different colored gases, bromine gas and air. Bromine, a brown colored gas, is heavier than air, therefore its mass per unit volume density is much greater than air. It is placed into the bottom half of a gas jar. A second jar is filled with colorless air and is placed over the first gas jar. The contents of the gas jars are separated with a glass cover. When the glass cover is removed, the colorless air moves down into the colored brown bromine gas and the bromine gas moves upward into the air. The particle movement leading to mixing cannot be due to convection since the more dense gas starts at the bottom and rises. In convection, the more dense gas sinks. The random movement of both sets of particles is enough to ensure that both gases eventually become completely mixed by a process called diffusion. So today, we have seen that both Brownian motion and diffusion reinforce the idea that matter is made up of billions of microscopic particles. It is vitally important that we remember shape, pressure and volume are referred to as characteristics of states of matter. They can be seen with the naked eye and thus they are called macroscopic properties. Macroscopic properties also include temperature, mass and conductivity. Well that's all for today. Remember to watch the other videos in this series and to do the tasks. Also visit the Mindset website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.